here and land between the lakes today just kind of driving around uh, just exploring seeing what I can find out here it's really not that nice of a day outside uh, it's kind of cloudy it's about 50 degrees and it's just you know gloomy um, but I just didn't want to sit at home so we're driving around here um, you can see there some of these roads are paved um, some of them are gravel this one here is paved um, I'm actually leaving a little place now that I've been to before um, just want to you know, drive around and see what I can get into saw the deer back there that's pretty neat wasn't it those were uh, deer that have been brought here to LBL um, and then they've the population has just grown but uh, check this out this is called the center furnace and I'll walk down to this sign and show you what it is but basically it's an old uh, iron ore furnace this area here in land between the lakes is called hematite and what hematite was was a little town and it was basically a, an iron ore town they would come uh, the people that lived in hematite uh, this sign kind of explains everything they would mine the iron ore and uh, they'd put it in the furnace and they'd melt it down and everything but they lived in a little community and they got paid with um, coupons for the store they couldn't use the money anywhere else it was basically they had to use it here um, this was before the lakes uh, were made because uh, the lakes weren't made until uh, it might say on this sign, but I think it was in the uh, late 30s, early 40s to keep flooding uh, in control. But basically, uh, here is the old furnace, or what's left of it anyways. You can just see all the old bricks um, and everything. They've got it chained off. You know, it's unfortunate. Some of these places, if you don't, um, if you don't put chain link and, or something up, people will get in there and just vandalize it. Here it is. Iron country is what this sign says. Everything needed to produce iron was here. Ore, wood, limestone, trees. Once again, uh, cover trees. Once again, cover these hills. Uh, yeah, but you can see how they're, you know, they get their horses and everything, and um, they're mining or they're pulling a log there. But they mine that iron ore, and um, this is talking about the community. The iron master, the owner, directed the business of operation. Clerks were responsible for bookkeeping. Founders supervised the furnace operation. Keepers were founders' assistants. Fillers or feeders pushed the carts loaded with charcoal and limestone, iron ore into the furnace top. Guttermen prepared the sand beds and the casting house. Molders cast the iron into prepared forms, and colliers supervised the charcoal making process. Typically, took about 12 full-time colliers uh, to keep a furnace in operation. But here's the uh, here's the furnace and what it what it looked like originally. So what you're seeing up there is the inside portion, which is right here, and then you're seeing the outside portion, which is that um, red brick. So that's basically what it was. There was like a, a house on top, a building of some sort on top. Um, here's a picture of it, and then they would feed that ore down. Uh, heat it up and, and kind of melt it down and they pour it into these molds It's kind of a neat place to go like I said land between the lakes. Uh, there's just all kinds of history here um, I don't know exactly why this town doesn't exist anymore other than um, when they flooded the lakes and kind of made this a, a public use park um, but yeah it's kind of neat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on down the curve here to a little place called Hematite Lake. It might be flooded. We've had a lot of rain, um, but it's a pretty neat little area. And there's a couple trails here. Um, there's Long Creek Trail. You can park there and you can walk down these trails and hike. Um, just pretty cool little place to come and hang out for the day.
here's uh, Hematite Lake. Now this is a, a nice little day use area. You can't camp here, um, but you can hang out for the day. See, there's a sign that says no camping. Um, but in the summer, this place is usually pretty full of people just picnicking and hanging out and enjoying um, things. But right now it looks like it's dead probably because it's uh, so cold outside but I wonder if I can uh, maybe bring my kayak and put in right here I don't I'll have to find out I know you can up uh, on the lake side but it's got a pretty nice little waterfall up here it's kind of cool it's it's man-made there's concrete uh, it looks like it's flowing pretty good sometimes when it's really dry uh, it doesn't flow much but I may hang out here for a little while Check this out. Is this cool or what? I'll walk up there in a minute, but there's vault toilets here. Um, and you can see some rocks here that they uh, put in to kind of keep this from eroding, but it's just a little stream. It goes down and then it'll go under that bridge that we uh, almost went across. It's the road there. Uh, I'm gonna walk up here and show you this. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, check that out. windy today but not too bad you might get some wind noise in the camera but I apologize now, this is just like a, a block wall if you look down there you can see a crane uh, maybe I'll try to go around the other side and see him but I don't think I don't I don't know if I can get across there's some like stepping stones through there but I think there's so much water that we might not be able to get across there without getting my feet wet more there's some more picnic tables there um, but there's those stepping stones I'm talking about I'm not gonna walk across there in the summer you can get across because the only thing showing is those stepping stones but there's a lake up there um, here's a sign here this says no limit on sunfish less than eight inches daily limit of ten sunfish eight inches or larger statewide regulations apply to all other fish now if you don't know what sunfish are they're like bluegill uh, some people call them shell crackers uh, perch things like that uh, but sunfish they're they're pretty good to eat um, you yeah, know let's check this out that's probably what that guy's doing fishing he's probably got a bucket full this time of year it's uh, early April you can see the red buds blooming uh, probably one behind me it's that bright purple uh, red bud but yeah it's pretty cool I'll have to bring my kayak back one day and and uh, go for a little uh, paddle down that little path there and it looks like a trail I don't know if this is part of that trail system or not I believe it is I don't know what trail it is but I might have to come back one day and hike this uh, it looks pretty cool um, it just kind of goes around this lake um, like I said, this is Hematite Lake. It's pretty cool. There's another um, lake on the other side called Honker Lake, and it's it's right off of Honker Bay on Lake Barkley. Um, this is this is really a lake on its own. It's not really attached to one of the uh, main lakes, Kentucky Lake or Lake Barkley. And there's some lily pads there in the summer. This will just be full of lily pads and things. Uh, probably gotta watch for snakes this time of year even though it's a little colder they uh they like to get out about april uh march april may they really move around i'm gonna walk down this path just a little bit just to see what's out here but i'll definitely have to come back when it's warmer well that was pretty neat uh, I guess I'm gonna get out of here and call it a day uh, I might stop down here and hang out for a little while but that's it for the video um, I do have a question for all you youtubers though uh, you guys are asking me questions but uh, I'm gonna ask you 
you a question. If you make videos, um, what do you use uh, to edit your videos? Currently, I just use Windows Movie Maker, I think is what it's called. It's just a free thing that came on my computer. Um, but I want to start doing a little bit of picture in picture, uh, being able to talk, um, and then show some footage while I'm driving. Um, something like that. I don't have to. It's not it's not a necessity, but I thought it, it might be a little easier um, trying to explain some things while I'm driving. Um, you know, I could kind of point things out while I'm driving along. Um, so what do you use to edit videos? Uh, I'm curious to know uh, what you what you use. So just comment in the comment section below and I'd, I'd like to take a look at that. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.